Hey guys, welcome to Reds Projects. This episode, working on the mighty Ute again, swapping this diff into it. This one's got a Pathfinder LSD center in it. Um, same ratio, they're both three sevens. So I'm gonna put that guy in, so I've got both wheels spinning. And I've got some homemade um, traction bars, slapper bars that are gonna go in as well. So no stuff around, let's get stuck into it and get this done. Old diff is out, single spinner. Put oil in the LSD one. Just changing over a few bits and pieces and be ready to go back in. All right, diff's in, shackles are tightened back up. So now it's the part I've really been waiting for is to put my traction slapper bars on. So put these on, put the U-bolts on. I'll explain a little bit better how they, how they all work. They're very old school kind of these were popular in the 80s type thing but i'll put all these on um i'll get a few other things done and then i'll um explain them to the best of my ability okay guys i'm back the gopro went flat on me but i've got it finished all back together i did change the handle for the tailgate look at that i can put stuff in this thing again I did record that, so I'll show you that video right now. My traction bars turned up turned out pretty good. Still got a decent amount of ground clearance, so they're not going to hit on speed humps and stuff. Now the reason I put these on was because I was getting axle tramp. If I was taking off hard in first gear, it would um, shake and yeah, axle tramp. So what these are meant to do when you take off and the diff tries to twist and climb upwards, this will contact the bottom of the spring underneath the eye, and it should stop it. So. I'll, what I will try and do is um, mount the GoPro to the guard, try and um, get a video of it and see if it contacts and how much it contacts. Cause I might have to put some spaces under this to get this gap a little closer, but I'll try and get some footage of it and see how we go. All right, all done. Um, it just started pissing out of rain, so there's no point test driving it and it's loud out there. So I'm finishing the video in here. Um, it's all back together, all done. Uh, brakes are bled, adjusted. Um, everything's tight. So I changed that little uh, handle on the tailgate so now I can finally open the tailgate and put heavy stuff into it. So 
that's great. Um, next step for this thing, I'm going to put some fresh front tires on it because these ones are down to the wear indicators. So some fresh front tires. And then I want to, providing the LSD is good and the tramp, uh, the um, traction bars work, I'm going to take it to the drags. And it's just a, really about finalizing the tune. So I want to put a fresh set of plugs into it, make a pass, look at the timing mark. Um, I'm very conservative for the timing at the moment. It's only um, 10 degrees in the top end. So just fresh plugs, make a pass, look at them. If it's safe, add a degree or two, make another pass and just keep doing that. Watch the mile per hour. That should be that should come up bit by bit. And um, yeah, I think I'm leaving a lot on the table with the timing. So if we're gonna add some timing safely, um, it should pick up a decent amount of power. So that should be fun. I'm looking forward to racing it. I haven't raced a, a manual car at the drags before, so that should be interesting. Um, so yeah, that's that's what you gotta look forward to. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.